And for the parking, you just drive behind the building, just in here. And we've got a visitor space just on the side and 59A just marked on the fence. The back gate for the property. If you do want to access the garden straight away, you want to come through this area here and this is the garden space. Enjoy! And to access the property. And the key safe. The location is just behind here. So it's just pull the lid down and then the code that we've entered for you just pop through here. And then pull this down. And then remove the key. And then pull the lid down, the, the wee switch down. And then push it in. And then just scramble the code. Just check it's all locked. Then put the lid back up. And into the apartment. Immediately on the left, you have our master bedroom with king size bed, two lamps on either side, and your towels. And in the wardrobe on the left hand side, we've got our hair dryer, and then on the right hand side, we keep our iron and ironing board. And through into the, the back right bedroom at the rear of the property, we've got our two single beds, both with bedside lamp and storage. The radiator in the bedroom the valve, just on the top, just turn to adjust. The smaller the number, the lower the temperature, and the higher the number, higher the temperature. And that's the same for, throughout the property. The bathroom has got the lights on the side. The light will activate the fan automatically. We've got our walk-in shower. And our sink. The radiator valve, just the same as the property. Just turn the valve here, which adjusts the temperature. And into the shower, you have your temperature on the right hand side, just turn this to the right, and then the controls for the water, just on the left hand side, to adjust it. Then just on the middle, just by the shower head, just make this, turn the wee dial, and that adjusts from the shower head to the handheld. The heating controls are just located in the hallway, just find the unit here, and to decrease the temperature, turning anti-clockwise and then increase the temperature, turn to the right. This will activate the boiler and it'll give you a time scale when it'll reach that temperature. And again, just turn to make yourself comfortable. Into the kitchen. We have our light switch here and this is our fan, just when you're cooking. We have our fridge freezer just on the left hand side and to use our microwave, First you want to take the bottom dial here, just turn it once to the left and then take it to the right, take it to the time that you need, so in this case three minutes, and then once it's there, just the start button at the bottom, that'll start the, the timer. If you want to stop at any time, bottom right, which stops it, you can open it up, see if it's ready, and then you can hit start again and it'll continue, or you can hit the stop button twice and then it cancels everything out and restarts. Uh, we have the oven hob just above, just pull this open for it to activate and have these across to the side. If you close this, it'll go, it'll go off. For the, the hob and the oven, the hob controls, just tap and hold this button here. That'll turn it on. You then want to select what, what hob you want. So for the induction hob here, just tap it once and then the power button just activate. 
Now this won't get hot until the, the pans go on because it's an induction and to pop it off or put the power down and then put it off. For the oven, the control dial on the left hand side here, you want to select, in this case, in most circumstances, the fan oven. Um, and then you've got the temperature just over on the right hand side. So if you turn that to the desired temperature, the wee red light here, that'll go off when it gets up to temperature. And then you know when it's ready to go. Then just make sure that you turn everything off. And that's you. I've also got a dishwasher in the property. Just pull this open and you push the on button just here. It'll all, all light up. You want to press the program button. You can scroll through all the cycles. There's a quick 30 minute or an eco. Pop this on and then just close it and then this will activate. For the toaster and the kettle, the power is just located just behind the appliances. For the toaster, you've got the wee dials just on the side here where you can make your adjustments to how hot it is and then just pull these down. The kettle as well is just in the corner and just the, the dial down to the right. Push that and it'll illuminate it when it's ready. The hot water in the property is all run off a gas combi boiler which is also located in here. You don't need to touch this and if there is any problems please give us a message and we can help out. Um, but once you run the water just give it a couple of seconds and it'll, it'll heat up to temperature. And then in this cupboard here we've got our washing machine. Again what you want to do is one button just on the side it'll see it all illuminate and you can just cycle through to with the dial to your desired setting. Then just pop your detergent and conditioner into here. And then close the door and then you hit the start button just here. That's it all set and back off. Also got a recycling in the property here so it's all itemised your, your general recycling and and into our lounge. We've got our welcome book and house manual just here for you. And smart television and our Wi-Fi hub. In the event that the Wi-Fi has gone off, um, you can turn the, the hub here just off at the wall, leave it for a few minutes and then put it back on and that should restart it for you. And for the television, you want to take the remote here and just click and hold the top left button and the TV will activate. It'll just take a second for it to come on. Now this TV is a smart TV, so you've got functions for your Netflix, YouTube and Amazon Prime. Now please feel free to use any of these apps. Just make sure to sign out of them when you do depart. The television's also got a built-in preview. To activate the free view, you want to just click the guide button. Once you press the guide button, you can then cycle through what you'd like to watch just with the arrows. Then when you've found something you'd like, press the OK button. that loads it up. We've also got the smart TV functions. So if you press the home button, press that on the remote. And it'll take you back to the home screen. And this comes up with all the different apps that you can use for the television.
Now again, just with the, the icons, you can scroll through all the different apps that are available on the TV. And you can sign into any of the any of them that you'd like. Just please make sure to sign out when you're finished. And then to put the TV off, just the off button on the top. If you're wanting to use the, the garden space out the back, just open the curtains. And through here, we've got the key just in the door. Please just leave the key in the door at all times. And then this gives you access to the garden. And in the main foyer when you arrived, the wee cupboard just here, in case you do need to ever, if there's a power cut or anything, the fuse box is located in here. And you can check to see if any of the, the dials are switched down. If they are, pop them back up. If there's a problem, just make sure to please give us a call. And then when you're departing, just the same as when you arrive, key into the door, put the handle up, and turn the key. Just test that it's locked. That's you. And then for the key safe, just again, pull the lid down, input the, the code that we've given to you. It's the same as when you check in. And then pull the dial down, pop the key away. Scramble the code. And that's you. Put the lid back up. And thank you for staying with us at Juniper Rentals. We hope to welcome you back. And then to access the, the car park, just again round to the side. The recycling is located in the shed just a little back. It's all marked 59A. The grey is general waste, the blue is the recycling, and as is the, the green.